I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You watch the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. More than five years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! And now we're going to see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 19 wins, 5 losses, 1 draw, and 1 no contest. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. So Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to play. So the UFC back inside Bell Center here in Montreal, and I don't know if there's something in the water, okay. in the beer, in the walls, but these people make noise like few MMA fans around the world. Maybe it's something in the weather. They're escaping the snow yeah. to go inside the Bell Center, and once they're there, they're doing all those other things. John, they're drinking the beer. They're taking in the great fights, and they are cheering as loud as they can. Oh! Good series of strikes for them. They're staying busy. Oh! start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Trying to stay in this fight! All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent is getting to race to even start. Think about strike. Oh! Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Got the single collar tie. 
Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Just misses there with the left. And they are exchanging leather early. Big ball from Crunch Lands. Now he gets back to range. Lee gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Circling to his right. Oh, big left. Just over three minutes to go. Can't take many of those. You better check. there to block the shot. Oh, nice job by him there to slip that offer. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, nice scramble by him there. Takedown defense off point. He is a master in transition. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, collar tie. And they separate. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. All right, single collar tie now. Position for him here, full mouth. If you're the bottom fighter, you better start moving those hips, DC. Oh, you gotta start moving those hips. What you should do initially, right, is start to push at the knee. Push at the hips, create some distance, shrimp, and try to recollect half guard. Half guard sucks, but it's much better than being mounted fully by your opponent. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. 45 seconds remain in the round. Nice kick. These guys are going at it. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. That was a nice strike. A oh, little single collar tie there. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. has his opponent hurt very badly again. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. That was awesome. Really hurt him there, okay? He's in trouble. There's no way. Are you ready? You ready? Here we are, early round two. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Nice one, two there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Very badly. 
Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job fighting the range to land those punches. And he landed the right hand there. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Lee going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. You're in the clinch. You go to the body. That's the best thing. You keep on putting that money away with every single body shot. Timing his shots nicely here, Chan. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. He blocks the punch. Nice punch by Lee. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, single collar tie here. Lee's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Looking to land the right just out of range. Good punch lands. Slips the punch. Oh! We've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open, and now he's just touching it over and over again. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. And continues with the inside leg kick. Lee's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, what a punch. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Yeah, he's hurt really bad. Oh, big diving punch to the head. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Looking for a guillotine. Why is he not recognizing this right now? He's got... Oh, what a beautiful, seamless transition to side mount as he counters the guillotine. Might be able to sink in a Von Flute choke here. of this young fighter. You can tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice.
a huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve LeBing has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 44 seconds of round number two. For the winner, by submission, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys, sort of waiting to exhale, get a huge win tonight, and not just the win, but they get it by submission. They knew what they had in front of them. They knew how tough a competitor his opponent was, but they also knew that if they could get this fight to the ground, they could find a submission. They found a submission.